Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Madam Premier, former Senator Bean, and Constituency 26, Yolanda Ferbert, uh, ministers, members of parliament, and the press. Uh, we thank you for coming out to Alaska all this afternoon. At this point in time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to the Premier. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon. Good afternoon. An unknown author wrote, and I quote, the difference between the impossible and possible lies in a person's determination. <coughs> what we're here today to do is to celebrate and to salute a young man who is young, gifted, and qualified. And certainly I'd like to present to you, to my left, our candidate for constituency 26, Mr. Mark Bean. It would be all too easy for me to list and run out all and litany of his achievements and accomplishments. And I won't do all of that, but let me share some of who he is. He's a qualified commercial pilot, a former senator and the junior minister for tourism and transport, for energy, for telecommunications and e-commerce. That is defining just some of who he is. But as I indicated on Saturday night at our annual banquet, Mr. Bean is a man who is passionate about his country. He is committed, he has conviction, and he considers the community issues. He loves his country, and he loves his PLP. I am pleased to now turn to him as he makes his debut as the official candidate for constituency 26, now that a by-election date has been set. So it is a distinct privilege and honor to be the candidate for the Progressive Labour Party in constituency 26. I look forward to representing the people, every single voter in constituency 26. What I have noticed since I have been canvassing is a tremendous amount of love at the doorstep. I also recognize that constituency 26 is very family oriented and thus it's a very close knit community. Many of the solutions or problems that uh, constituency 26 face is also the problems that other constituencies face. But the good thing that I've noticed and recognized is that within Constituency 26, the solution and the power for solutions lies right within each doorstep at each household. So I will be seeking to connect with every single voter as I go out and uh, canvass each household and also I look to canvass after the election's results. Uh, we have here a new change of leadership with Madam Premier now assuming the reins uh, for guiding the country forward. And she has set a new term, a higher term for the country. And I'll be willing to join with the rest of my colleagues in Parliament to assist her in discharging our obligations to serving the people. Now is not the time for promises and platitudes. Now is the time for hard work. And I think all of us are going to join in a collective effort to assist the Premier in her goal of serving the people. Can we ask you a question? Of course. Um, the shadow of Dr. Brown hangs over Warwick um, Southwest. Will that be an asset to you in the by election or um, a problem? I don't think it's an asset at all, but Dr. Brown was a leader. He is uh, the member of parliament for constituency 26. He is retired now. And so now is my opportunity to uh, continue on the work that he did do in constituency 26 and also look to evolve and even create a deeper relationship with the voters of 26. Mr. Bing, can you talk please a little bit about some of those problems in the constituency that you referred to? What, what kind of things have, have voters been telling you they're worried about? Well, again, constituency level <coughs> issues are relative. You find them throughout the island. I think that most people have, have given concern about economy, crime, and uh, education. And so again, it's right across the board. And so that's something where 
the key is to be able to forge a relationship to connect the average voter within the constituency and make them feel part of the entire legislative process. And although you're not part of a particular uh, party or even the PLP, that doesn't mean that you can't participate. And so the key is to be able to listen and to be able to relate to each person and, and put yourself in their shoes and assist them to help themselves. So many of the issues, again, that you find in 26, you will find throughout the island. And so the solution has to be a collective effort. One of the problems, uh, a young man, how are you going to uh, address this young man in the, in the, the constituency? The first step is to set the example yourself. You know, most of the youth today, you can't tell them something without sharing them something. And at the same time, they have to be in a position to be willing to choose to do what's right instead of what they like. And when they make that choice, as long as you're able to present an alternative to them, then maybe you can reach out to them and help them love themselves, know themselves, and love their neighbors as themselves. Um, Ms. Berber, I'll ask you a question. Would you like to say anything about the candidate? Do you know Mr. Bean well? Have you worked with him? I know Mr. Bean well, yes. I have um, known him for quite some time and I'm pretty confident that he will do well in 26. You mentioned the dates have been settled. I'm sorry, I must have missed something. Has the announcement been made for, yes. for the by-election? Yes. As of today? Yes. Ah. I think everybody is going to rally behind Mr. V, and certainly from the parliamentary group even though some of the ministers aren't here today and some of the backbenchers, basically across the board, they've indicated that they just want Mr. Bean to give them the dates that they want, that he wants them to come out in canvas and they'll be there. Minister, Dane Minister of Education has a meeting in one end of the island. Minister of Transport, Minister Lister has a meeting in another end of the island. But both of them as ministers have indicated that they are very happy and they will make it up to him by not being here today. They'll be out there in the trenches. Just as I was coming in, Minister, Mr. Um, Honorable Dennis Lister said that he has another engagement today, but he certainly will be available to canvas. And we all are going to put our shoulder to the wheel. And one more question. Since you've been sworn in as Premier Leader of the PLP, how have uh, you been received through people you've seen throughout the, the, the streets? I think people have been awesome in their response. I think that you always have a, a honeymoon period. And I think that they've been very, very kind. I attended with the Deputy Premier, the Minister of um, Families and Community Development, and also with the Minister Weeks yesterday, the church service at St. John's AMU, and probably what was probably one of the most moving and poignant aspects was when they dedicated with their liturgical dances something about moving into your season. And I, though I like to dance to popular music, I've never been a liturgical dancer. And they actually got me from the pew. And I was a liturgical dancer. And it was, but it was most, um, it was awesome. And I think people often ask how I feel. I think because we've been on skates, from the night I was elected to the next day you had to be sworn in and then you had to work on cabinet configurations and then Monday was the swearing of the cabinet. Then we had to like, write the throne speech so that it could be printed in time for Friday. It's been, basically we've been in working overtime. Mm -hmm. Now there's still meetings upon meetings and I had an international interview this morning. But I think that it's, it's, there's a little pause where you can do some other things while you're preparing for cabinet and other measures. But the people of Bermuda thus far have been very, um, very kind mm. and very welcoming. And clearly they expect us as a team to deliver. Mm -hmm. And that is certainly my intent. And I've been very, very pleased at the level of engagement within the parliamentary group and within the wider party in terms of support 
and not just support for me personally, but support that as we carry forward in terms of a new torch, that people are prepared to do that four-letter word, work, mm -hmm. and work unceasingly. And that gives me tremendous <coughs> pleasure. The by-election date was duly announced as Wednesday, December the 15th. I can give you in terms of as background, which you won't get from the plain generic release, as to the thinking for that date was the fact that you give students an opportunity to return. We can't say that we acknowledge the .NET generation and want to be inclusive and then set a date which clearly would exclude them. Now we're not gonna get all the students who may be returning, and some may choose not to come home during the Christmas holiday, but we wanted to push it as late as we can without interfering with people who may be traveling over the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So it's Wednesday, December the 15th. 